What's going on guys, it's Jeff for MadHattersReef.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ecotech Marine Vortec MP40. Alright guys, here we are, one step closer to setting up the 260 gallon aquarium. I originally wanted to order both MP40s at the same time, uh, but my bank account just couldn't handle it. Uh, the price tag on these pumps are is around $350, and that's a lot of money to throw down at one time. This is for the 220-gallon display. This is enough power head for uh, LPS and soft corals. But to get into the SPS end of things, I'm going to need to have that other MP40 hooked up to the tank. But to start things off, I'm going to just have one. If I need to, I got a couple of uh, power heads kicking around in the basement that I could grab to get more flow going in the display tank. But I'm assuming with the MP40 and the Vectra that I'm not going to have a whole lot of problems with flow in the tank. First impressions when I opened the box, I was, you know, typically impressed with the overall quality of the product. Uh, the dry side of the pump is extremely heavy, a lot heavier than I anticipated. And the uh, quiet drive is actually a little bit less than what I expected, especially with getting the M1 Vectra first. And I'll go into that a little bit later. But I do, I never thought that I would get hooked into the Ecotech Marine product line like I have. I'm actually even considering going with the Radons now for lighting, even though I, when I bought the aquarium, I had LEDs or no name brand LEDs that came with it. And I'm just really blown away by the overall quality of their product line and they only they only have three they have their lights they have their pumps and then they have their return pump and they're all tied together with their reef link system which is something else that is piquing my curiosity at this time but back to the mp40 i'm really happy with the overall uh, quality of it right here we're going to take a look at the power brick and the power cord uh, Pretty standard stuff right there, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking into that, uh, but it, it is good to know what you're getting. The wet side of the MP40 um, was covered with a foam, and I guess that foam can be used with it inside the aquarium if you have delicate marine life in your tank. And at first, you know, like I thought it was just for the packaging, but it's actually part of the uh, pump if you need to use it. It also comes with these spacers, and depending on how thick the glass is on your aquarium will dictate which spacer you actually use. For my 220-gallon display tank, I'm going to be using the middle one. I guess it's called the uh, thin spacer. The other one, uh, for the really thick glass, it's use a, just a gasket. And for something like a nano tank where you're dealing with less than a fourth of an inch, use that really thick uh, spacer and all of them all they just click onto well with the exception of the gasket they just click onto the dry side of the mp40 last but not least you get a little goodie bag and that's going to have your equipment guide it's going to have a registration card which during your registration if you sign up you can get a free uh, issue of coral magazine which i strongly recommend that you do that when you buy uh, ecotech products that magazine is amazing uh, you're going to get some double sided tape for the quiet drive and you're also going to get these little rigs i don't remember what they're called exactly uh, but what it's for is you're going to stick it to the glass of your aquarium or the liner or what have you so you can control the cord when it leaves the mp40 and a lot of guys you see them they actually have the cords running straight down from the dry side or they're running up and then towards the back of the aquarium Right here, what we're going to do is we're taking a look at the M1 Quiet Drive versus the MP40 Quiet Drive, and the quality between these two drives are substantial. Uh, the M1 Quiet Drive has a heat sink on the back, and the MP40 Quiet Drive does not. And there's a, with that metal not being there, it has a huge difference, or it really impacts the overall quality and feel of the product. Uh, another difference is the bracket system. So with the M1, you actually get a metal bracket. And what you would do is you would screw that to like your stand or a board that you have um, behind your tank. 
and slide it slide the driver into it right there I just put the bracket on backwards and upside down uh, it's meant to be on the bottom but for you know aesthetics it really has a huge impact with the mp40 you got double-sided tape really I mean there's a big difference between the two of them and it also has a pigtail for the power connection I originally what I wanted to do was run my mp40 and my vortec and all my other electronics into another room that was behind my 220 gallon display tank well, I'm not gonna be able to do that with the quiet drive connected to the mp40 pump itself but I'll figure something out I'll make it work I just hope in future generations of the mp40 that they kinda go the route that they have with the m1 uh, because there is a huge difference in the quality between the two of them but I'm not you know I know it sounds like I'm dogging on the mp40 uh, but I I actually really like the product and I'm probably gonna like it even more once I get it hooked up it's just once you're taking it out of the box and you're looking at it and you have both of them to look at there's a considerable difference between the two all things considered I'm definitely pumped to get the mp40 on my saltwater aquarium that's gonna do it for today's episode of Mad Hatter's Reef I want to thank you guys for joining me if you're new to Mad Hatter's Reef please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video